in this video we are going to go over a couple of procedures in SAS for linear algebra along with some a few procedures we could use with matrices and vectors in SAS. So to begin with when we want to use SAS as a tool to help with linear algebra we need to use this procedure PROC IML this allows us to use matrices in SAS. So we have our PROC IML, note how it's in this dark bluish color, in order to help us distinctively identify that part. Uh, when we want to enter a matrix, the overall structures that we would have them wrapped in these brackets, each row is in a separate line with a comma at the end and spaces between each element. Uh, we could write a, the 2 by 2 identity matrix as 1, 0, comma, 0, 1. We can write a vector with each element listed followed by a comma. For example, here's a 2 by 1 vector. I call this vector C. This I have 2, comma, 3 since we would have that column vector with 2 and then 3 in each respective spot. Um, I called this version a matrix and the second a vector. You don't you don't need to necessarily call it as such. The variable could be anything, any set, any string, or just a letter if you want. But sometimes it's also helpful to label them something that you'll be able to easily identify it with. We could also print these out by using the print functionality by print whatever the uh, variable is. So if I want to print out matrix A. I could do print matrix A and then I'll give print out matrix A, the same thing with vector C. We could also solve a linear system. And that uses the solve command in SAS and it has the form of solve matrix comma vector. So for example, if we use matrix A and vector C, we want to solve that augmented matrix. We would have a solution of the first value being 2, the second value being 3, and that being x1 and x2 respectively, which we could then write as a point. It will be the solution if we were to graph this linear system. And the code that we would use for that is x is equal to solve matrix underscore a comma vector underscore c, and then print it. So for example, running this particular program, it should take a few moments, matrix a def is displayed just the very same way that you would display a matrix, only we would have those brackets around it. But we get that identity matrix 1, 0, 0, 1. The vector is shown as a column vector, as we want. And then the solution, as we identify, would be 2, 3, because this is automatically a, an identity matrix. And then if we want to use a 3 by 3 matrix, so I'm going to call this matrix matrix B. Uh, we're going to identify this as a 3x3 three three matrix. If we want to, for example, use the identity 3x3 three three matrix, this would be 1, 0, 0, comma. I like to indent just to make it all be in the same generalized area. Again, you technically don't need to as it will still work, but it tends to be helpful to identify the parts. The next row is 0, 1, 0, and then we have 0, 0, 1. By the way, the last row does not have a column, have a comma at the end of it. And then let's say we want to solve that using a different vector. Vector, I'll call this one D. Let's call that one the points in the for the three by three major uh, three by one vector. Excuse me. Let's use the point three, four, five, which will give us then the values of three, four, and five back. By the way, I should probably note actually before I do this the correct one I want to. Do. I should probably note what would happen if we use the wrong vector with this. So I noted before that this was a 3 by 3 matrix 
And vector C up here is a 2 by 1 matrix, um, which then would then correspond to getting the wrong answer from this. Let's see what SAS does if we accidentally do that by mistake. But it looks like it, you know, it gave us answers. I mean, that was the stuff that we did before. But now we have an error in the program. And if we look at the log, it would note these matrices do not conform to the operation. Which then just means that the sizes are different. As you can see, matrix B is here, vector C is here. Notice how we have a 3x3 three three matrix. We're trying to use a 2x1 vector. It does not align. We need a 3x1 vector, which is why I made vector D here. So just a quick note of what happens if we use the wrong vector. But we're going to use vector D in that, and then we want to print the result. Which again should give us the answer 3, 4, and 5, since we used an identity vector, an, an identity matrix. Doing so will then give us that bottom one here as 3, 4, 5. Let me know if you have any questions or concerns. Thank you.